Emmy, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I hope life is treating you well. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a what I got for my birthday. You guys love this video. It's something that I do every single year, twice a year, because I usually do a birthday and a Christmas one. This is obviously in no way means to brag. I do these videos just because I love watching them. I find them really, really interesting. You guys have always loved them when I've did them. These videos are not a brag, but if you watch my channel, you'll know that that's just not me at all. <laughs> so, so, so excited. I got absolutely spoiled this year, as I always do from my family. I honestly feel like the luckiest person ever. Like, they all know us so well, and I just am very, 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 very fortunate. This birthday was a little bit different. I turned 26. I think I turned 27. No one even, like, we didn't even discuss what age I turned. Yeah, because Sean's 28. I turned 27. <sighs> okay, I'm 27. Okay, so it was my 27th birthday and I had intended and I had planned a bit of a house party and then I was going to go into town with my nearest and dearest. However, I've got a broken foot, so that didn't happen. I basically just had a very chill day. I went for breakfast with Sean in the morning, and then at the evening, my mum, grandma, nana, and my brother and my brother's girlfriend, Liv, all come over, and mine, we got dominoes, and just had a very, very chill one. It was still lovely. It was just different to kind of what I thought I was going to be doing, so I was a little bit disappointed that I couldn't go on my night out because I'm in my night out girl era, but yeah, the broken foot has definitely made us have to chill a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to show you everything that I got for my birthday. If you like these videos, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And without further, let's see what I got for my birthday. I'm going to start with Sean because they're the presents that I wake up to in the morning. So I just think, you know. So the first thing you got is, is this, which I actually really like. Ooh. It is a monthly planner. It's on a little magnetic board so I could stick it on the fridge or put it somewhere in the office. And it comes, so it is a daily monthly and weekly planner so you have your daily one here your monthly and then you can also do it week by week as well i just think this is really handy and then in the back you do also get a selection of pens and a little eraser i've really been organized in 2023 i don't know what it is but i was just like i need to sort my life out a little bit let's get organized and i've been so organized so things like this really really help and i can't wait to start using it i'll probably use it for like my youtube content sean then also picked us up this this is the mango flavor aloe vera drink me and him love trying like new drinks and drinks that you wouldn't necessarily get on your daily basis so we'll always get each other stuff like this for birthdays he then also got us this, which is a bottle of pre-mixed gin and tonic. We were both saying that we've never actually seen a pre-mixed gin and tonic before. So it is only 7.3%, so I think it is going to be single measures, but it's still very nice. I was very intrigued by this. Okay, so a few months before my birthday, me and Sean went to a little outlet, and I picked up this for myself. Um, it's just a makeup bag, but I filled it with stuff that I felt like I wanted to try. So I got this from the beauty outlet. This is the bag I picked. I thought it was really cute with all the little makeup on, and I love makeup bags i have endless amounts of makeup bags i use them for organizing my suitcase when i'm traveling i use them for organizing my drawers like everywhere you turn every drawer you look in my house there's probably a makeup bag in there stuffed with stuff so in the little makeup bag i picked up this this is the yes to gentle daily moisturizer i heard a lot about the brand so i'm really excited to try them i think i have tried a few of their products when i was younger but not in recent years so i'm excited and also picked up the yes to daily cream cleanser i love trying new cleansers my preference is always going to be a cream or a balm. I'm not really one for foams. I then also picked up some false nails. I'm loving the fake false nails at the minute and I love these ones from W7. I then also picked up this little sponge. I then also decided to pick up this brush on nail glue. I just thought with this wearing false nails a lot more recently, this might help keep them on. And then I picked up three nail polishes for my toes. <laughs> um, and I do have some plain false nails in which I might want to paint these colours. So I got this really nice brown colour. I got a matte white. White is my absolute favourite. I just love a white. And then I also got this kind of orangey burnt red. So and then also picked us up some pens. These are really handy for my scrapbooking. He then also got us this file organiser. He just thought it would be handy for the office to either organise scrapbook supplies or tax returns or anything that I kind of need to organise. And then he picked us up two more drinks. He got us these lemonades. So he got us the grape lemonade that looks like this. 
and then he also got us the sour apple lemon. You'll see that this is a reoccurring theme of what I asked for for my birthday, but the only thing I asked for off anyone was a box of the Yubi protein bars because I get them from home bargains usually. I absolutely love them, but I was like, can you just get us a box off their website? So Sean got us the Yubi protein bars, um, and this is the s'mores flavour. He then also got us a birthday cake, which we haven't opened yet. Oh, something Sean did get us, which isn't yet a show yet, it's in the fridge, is an exotic fruit hamper. I had wanted one of these for the longest time. It has fruits in that you can't necessarily buy in the supermarkets in the UK, and we're going to do a separate video on that, testing the fruit. If that's something you want to see, look out for that video, because we're going to film it after this one. Sean then also topped us up on some face wipes. Then also got us a vegan selection of truffles. He got us these, which he picked himself for my scrapbooking, and he said that he picked the blue gems because they'd look cute on my grease page, and I just thought that was absolutely adorable. He got us this dress, which I really like. It is from Levi. It's a long sleeve dress, and it just has the Levi logo in the middle. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice long sleeve dress, and it's in a black or kind of grey. He then also got us a Jo Malone perfume, which I was just like... So this one is in Wild Blue Bell Cologne. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. I have had it out and I've had a sniff and it smells divine. He then also got us some of the rhythm items. So he got us the rhythm um, delicious cookies. They look like this. And he also got us the rhythm peanut butter giant cookie. Two bath bombs. He then also got us a selection of washi tapes. Again, he went for blue because he knew it fitted the theme of grease. And then some glue dots as well. Stuff like this is so handy. If you scrapbook, you'll know. But glue dots, glue tapes, prit sticks, you need them all. He then also picked us up some wax melt, more chocolate. He then got us the vegan cookie crumble by Galaxy. This is my favourite chocolate ever. And then also the Nomu cookie dough. He then also picked us up one of my favourite cleansers, which is the Body Shop Camo Oil Cleansing Butter. And then he's seen the stick version as well. Um, which looks like this. I've never had the stick version before, so I'm very intrigued to try it. And also picked us up a selection of face masks and then also some reusable cotton pads. I love it when people get us essential things that I use all the time. Right, I don't know if this is just a Northeast thing because I mentioned it on a video not long ago and a few people commented saying I've never heard that before. But in the Northeast, Skecha shoes are kind of stigmatised as being a bit old-fashioned. And this isn't just a me and Sean thing or a my family thing because we were out with one of Sean's friends once and he literally made a comment about Skechers being for old people. Well, at that time, I'd already bought my Skechers. So me and Sean looked at each other and laughed. Well, I hadn't bought them, he'd bought them. I wanted a comfy trainer that was high quality for my birthday. I have, well, I have a broken foot at the minute, so clearly I'm not wearing any shoe on that foot. But I have just not great feet okay they're like wide and a lot of my shoes that I wear my feet kind of like bulge the shoe out and shapes them I looked online sketches were just getting all the good reviews and I was like you know what I'm I'm 27 years old now it's time for a sketcher these are them now I don't think they're a typical sketcher looking shoe I just think they're a really nice white trainer this is what they look like they're very cute they're a very high quality and it literally feels like you're walking on clouds I remember trying them on in the shop and I was like they are so comfortable and I'm really hoping that they last as a long time because I have a problem with shoes shoes never last as long because of my feet Sean also got us tickets to go and see Kinky Boots at the theatre which I am so beyond excited about because I love a good I love a good theatre show and then he also got us an activities day where we're going to do quad biking and I think archery or some kind of like shooting can't obviously do it right now but that is something that I have a year to use up so I am so so beyond excited and grateful very great that always happens. Um, but yeah, I feel very grateful for them. So, the dogs and Sean are back. My mum had asked us what I wanted. In all honesty, I just needed a hairdryer. My hairdryer started to do that like broken hairdryer smell. And I was a little bit worried about using it. So, my mum got us this hairdryer. I just said get a cheap one. So, this one's from Asda. Okay, so the next thing that I got off my mum is probably my most special thing, which I absolutely love. It is a photo booth. Um, but yeah, my mum got us this photo booth. Look at me, he's a wee wee. I've quite sticky out ears there. And it's kind of like my life story, like when I met Sean. It's just really special, but I am going to keep this just for me. My mum then also got us a box of UB bars. When I opened this, I was creased because Sean was like, your mum must be telling you she wants grandkids. I don't know what mum was thinking, but she got us a little nice corset. Not usually something mum buys us, to be fair, but it is very, very nice. 
um, and it looks like it's going to fit as well because it has quite a big boob area which of course it's I usually struggle with because my boobs are quite big so they usually don't fit in the boob area but I don't think we'll have a problem with this one it's very nice it's burgundy I'd love to be one of them girls that wears something like this as part of an outfit I might try and style it and see if that's possible or is it just going to look too too underwear -y. Grandma did also get us or return as one of these as well, but it's upstairs because I've been reading it. So a few Christmases ago, or was it last? No, it wasn't last Christmas. It was a Christmas before last. I got all the members in my family a guided journal. And what it is, it's basically a book in which it's got questions in, they complete it and then return it back to me. I give them a year to fill it out. My grandma and my mum needed a year and a half, but my mum returned it and I absolutely love it. It's I just think things like this are so special. They're going to be keepsakes for the rest of my life. And when I'm reading them, I read them as if the person who wrote them is reading them to me in my head, if that makes sense. Um, but I just absolutely love it. I get to find out things about my family that I necessarily wouldn't have asked or wouldn't get to know. People often ask where I get them from and I just found all mine on Amazon. They're called guided journals, but you can get ones for like family members so mom grandma nana whoever you want um but yeah so my mom returned my guided journal and so did my grandma and my mom went a bit mad in costa you know she must have felt like i needed costa in the house so she got us this which is a reusable water bottle and it's got this beautiful rainbow color on it i absolutely love it i'm not sure if this is part of a pride collection i feel like just because it's rainbow it is but it might not be anyway she also got us this this is the summer waves mug set it's beautiful just two brightly colored mugs the most exciting one is this one i love this like this is just beautiful my mom also got us a experience to go and create my own perfume as well which i thought was so cool my mom also got us a bra from bravismo but i haven't um I am going to return it and get a different size, so I don't currently have that on us. Okay, from my grandma, me and my grandma, obviously as our main present to each other, went on a little trip and we just said that's what we'd do as a gift, but my grandma did still get us a few little things as well. She got us a massive gin and a tonic to go with it. She got us some marshmallows. She didn't realise that I can't have traditional marshmallows, so these will probably be given to Sean. But the reason she got us the marshmallows is because she did actually get us the Galaxy Vegan Hot Chocolate. She got us some caterpillars. These are from Asda and they're absolutely delicious. I really, really like them. And then she also picked us up this um, chocolate orange and caramel crisp bar as well. My dad gave us mainly money for my birthday as it is what I kind of just asked for. However, the Yubi bar's also got to be done. So he got us a box of the s'mores ones as well. And then he also got us a variety pack as well. From Sean's parents, I did get mainly money, but I got a few little things which I want to show you. Like I told you, I have... Um, snuck into this so this was the normal cookie dough very nice candy kitten because i absolutely love a candy kitten a little strawberry daiquiri cocktail and also these soap bars as well i've never heard of the brand they're called ego warrior and you get a facial one a body one a shampoo one and a shave one my brother brad did also give us money but got us a pack of the cookies and cream yubi bars so off my brother's girlfriend Liv. I got um, some really exciting gifts. I got some candy kittens, very cherry ones, which I haven't opened yet. These ones, which I've basically ate all of them. There's one left, which I don't know why I'm keeping that little one. But um, this is the sweet raspberry. These are the non-fizzy ones, which I've never had before, but they're very good. And then I also got these ones, which are my favourite, the sour watermelon. I've had these and I love them. Then she also got us, I thought this is the cutest thing. It's a little guide to Beyonce. So she knows I love Beyonce. Um, and this book is full of like quotes from Beyonce. So I was saying, well, when she gave us it, I was like, there's my Instagram caption sorted. But yeah, so I just think this is adorable. So cute. And it's quite a nice deco book as well. Then she got us some beautiful earrings. I absolutely love them. This is what they look like. They're in a nice little star shape, but they're like dangled down a bit like a hoop. Beautiful. That is everything that I got for my birthday. As you can see, it was absolutely spoiled as I always am. And I'm so grateful for everything. And anyway, that is going to conclude this video. I really hope you're having a great day and I hope life is treating you all very, very well. And without further ado, I'll see you very shortly for another one. Bye.